How is it going guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a big video for you today and as you guys can see we have an absolute behemoth of a base. I've just finished building this, I've finished all recording the video and doing all the tips and tricks. This is just a quick once over before we dive in and dissect how to build this, what is going on, what is behind the tactics. There's little extra tips and tricks in here as well. Um, <clears throat> if you are a group that is uh, maybe five plus players, I would say five plus players, and looking to play boosted servers to build bases, well this is the video for you. What I'm going to be showing in this video is how to build compounds, how to deal with structures inside, um, and then uh, different um, defensive tactics, different defensive positioning, different defensive ideas, and different um, like almost stash spots as well within your own base. We're kind of doing all the tips together in one video, just they're all in one place, just so you guys, the bigger factions, have a video for you because I feel like we're doing a lot of them just for our solos and duos. This is video for the big factions. Um, yeah, it's it's absolutely this 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 base is absolutely stacked. So without further ado, let's jump in. Um, yeah, it's it's a good one. There's a lot to this. All right, let's jump in. Let's start talking about this. Okay, so this video in particular, we've decided to go with Vibor Industrial just because it takes all the boxes for a massive clan base. Obviously, first things first, what you do on it, what you do on a base is you want to worry about your compound. So we're gonna get cracking on the compound, jump straight into this. Okay guys, we're back and I've started our inner compound and began some defenses here. So I'm just gonna talk you through um, the sort of first stage of this compound. So obviously the number one thing is you need a inner wall, like the, the wall um, that would take you to your gates and you need to add your defenses to it. So I'm gonna kind of run you through. So we've got this ones, these ones on the entrance. Um, if you come all the way to the top, we have one angle facing out this direction to cover off people rotating around the compound this side. Then we have one covering this entrance, which kind of covers off part of this front gate um, and uh, more rotations here. Now, obviously, you you're might be thinking, well, this doesn't cover off the town. We will be getting to covering off the town and we'll make that the main watchtowers on the top just so you can get the height and the elevation to look into the town. So that is the first set. And then we come down here. So obviously, our main gate to get cars in. The angle is quite nice to get in. It comes straight to the road. Um, but obviously, that's not going to be the only entrance. We will be doing an outer compound. I'll, I'll explain a couple tricks up my sleeve with that. Um, so you have a nice flat wall just for the inner compound. This is just a nice safe area for your team to chill out and defend the base from the lower half rather than going through all of the gates to get to the roof which we get onto because there'll be a lot of gates to get through to get into a defendable position on top of the roof and um, to then defend. So you want, comp you want watchtowers in your compound so they have fast access to towers if you have um, locals in your area trying to attack your base and you need to get quick attack defense and um, so this angle here i'm going to show off with the tundra i've made some angles here so we've got a nice even peak to just spot players and um, here which is not too bad of an angle it's uh quite cheeky to lean out people might more be expecting you to peek out sort of these type of size to watch towards rather than the side and um, when defending this base in particular a lot of people go to this uh single brown here and um, that is just from experience and obviously you have the barn i'll get to in a second we've on purposely made these a bit higgledy piggledy and um, so obviously we've got a cover up here to see if people are uh, coming from the northwest um, there and then obviously you have um, some peaks on the barn here. Okay, and then just to finish this little bit off, we've, as you guys can see, we've on purposely built this quite badly. So as you guys can see, we've made little uh, gaps in the watchtowers here to check for peaks with players coming from Northwest as well. Um, and then also on the single brown, we've got a nice angle here on that. Um, so as you guys can see, you've got to make sure. Um, you're making them a bit higgly piggly so you get these peaks here um, onto that single brown okay moving on so okay so we've jumped into free camp for this one and as you guys can see we have added a whole new layer and some more defenses to um our compound i'm just going to explain what we've gone for here so <clears throat> starting for this side so we're connecting this onto the ladder um we don't want them instant access to this ladder we want them a little 
uh, raid to get through. So we've gone for this outer compound. We've also built a watchtower here to block off this pipe um, using this as a potential way to gain, gain access to the compound or other areas of the base. Then we've locked up this segment, just uh, segmenting off the, the outer compound. Um, and then this is where our gates are going to be for entering with vehicles and things like that. So we've got one, two, three, four gates to get in. Um, and then we've locked off this car as well to allow to stop uh, players from boosting. And um, we've double walled this, and we've also covered off this building as well to stop vaults. Um, I was meant to close this, but yeah, we've covered off this building as well. Um, so basically, a guaranteed two wall raid to get into compound, um, which is a pretty solid amount. And then for main ladder, we've got two gates here, even three because we have some of them doubled up. Um, to gain access to this ladder here and we will be going onto the roof in a little bit here next step i will be uh, building for the inside showing off it's pretty standard for the inside um on how you're gonna you're gonna build this so we'll get into that then now but yeah this okay guys so there's one quick tip as well before we finish off with this lower compound and we go into the inside there's this thing there we're gonna um we're gonna do a little tip here now obviously most people would say this car here would be a bit of a nuisance there's more things for like boosting and things like that and um, and so what i kind of want to do here is i want to take advantage of this car and what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this like you normally would cover this off and obviously for a raider's point of view why would you go through that wall then that wall to get to access to the car and then this wall you'd most likely just hit this wall or hit the gate there so what we're actually going to do is we're going to build don't mind me we're going to build we're going to build a fence right we're going to build a gate better or and then we're going to use crates hold on let's do this together so you guys understand what i'm doing right that looks can i access that boom look at that there we go so that is cheeky part of the map there and then even i'm pretty sure if i spawn in another one right quick guys wooden crate there we go give us a sec and and look at that look at that and then we then we close that up seal that up in the compound boom who's checking this out guys who's checking that who's raiding this Who's going through there and who is checking inside these? So this would just be simple. If you just come back, for example, let, let's play the scenario, right? You just come back from a fat loot run. Your boys are saying this this, this guy's coming from northwest. They're up in the towers. They need support. This is let's say that's a five man pushing your base. Juicy loot opportunity. You already know you got the fat base here. You want to take advantage of having the big base and get those kills with all those watchtowers, which we will get to very soon. And you need to depot quick. However, what you'd have to do is you'd have to do one, two, three, climb the ladder, get your boys to take down the um, the barbed wire and things that are up there, or go through about nine gates through there. No, all you have to do is quickly chuck it in the storage, close this, close that, and then either run out, push the players, or then jump in the watchtowers and start shooting. And then that's you. You've depoted the loot, and you can then have access to your compound, and you can do what you need to do from there in terms of PvP. This is really useful to have a little stash spot in your compound somewhere to quickly depot loot. Okay, guys, so we're back in the compound. We've finished the inside and i just want to show off how many gates we have built here so as you guys can see we've gone for a watchtower on the honeycomb the reason why i've done a watchtower here is because someone could break through this and then vault over a single wall and um, so we're now going to count how many gates we've got here so that's one two three four um five six Seven, then I'll go over all these watchtowers in a minute. Eight and nine, and obviously, and then nine to the main loot at the back, which is significant to the siege crate. That is where you put your main loot. I'll explain everything. Obviously, you can do far more walls than that. Look how much space is in here. Only reason I've not gone more is so that you've got an open space to fit vehicles and then uh, openly run around to these defenses, which is even better than the compound outside. And we're now going to show off some of these defenses. So, the reason why I've built watchtowers in here is to block off um, all the windows for people throwing in nades while you're inside and protecting your vehicles and things like that. So, we're going to go up and I'm going to show off some of these peaks that I have made. So, look at this one covering off northwest direction, this pixel peak here for people rotating this side. You can run to this side. Um, 
and uh, there's a couple angles here. There's a little angle there, and some even better ones. So you got this angle, but a bit bigger, um, and we'll come upstairs for some more pixel peaks. Uh, this one is dirty up here. This pixel peak is really nice. You can see people coming from uh, Red Roof Barn, and this tree line here. And even I did see I made an eye. Uh, look at such a nice angle onto the still that I was talking about earlier on, where people quite often go behind uh, the still when running, rotating the barn to Vibor Town. So that's a dirty spot there. Um, and the left is a bit open, so you can actively defend if you are getting online raided. Um, I think that was it for the angles. Uh, this one I just kind of blocked off um, up here. You don't want to make too many. Uh, I think I made like, yeah, it's kind of one there you can use. But it's just mainly to prevent people throwing nades into your base. Um, and I think I did one probably here as well. I did, there's a pixel peak here. Um, let's have a look. You can see people rotating the sewing factory. Uh, like like so, the apple orchid and things like that. A couple of nice spots here for quite people that are a bit closer. But obviously, we've got the main loot at the back. We've got a little angle up there as well for protecting for online raids. And then uh, what I'll do is here is I'll go into free cam to show off what I've done here. This is quite important. Um, so we're gonna go in. Why can't I move? Uh, here we go. So we're gonna go in here. So we've got one, two, three. I built that the wrong way. Four and then five, and then in here. So let me explain this. So why there's two vertical here? So if, when they were to raid the outside one, which is six and seven here, so seven wall raid here, but including this, so seven walls plus you've got these vertical ones, and then what happens here is if they get through to here, they now need a shovel to then destroy these, and quite often people don't bring a shovel to a raid, and obviously to get through here, you need a shovel. So that is backing up the raider's time, which is why I do this in here. Um, which is do the vertical ones um, and it can be quite tedious to get this done if you don't have a pickaxe or shovel so yeah and um, so as many walls as possible but all banged up in there um, and that is our inside for the defense ones obviously you can get a lot more there's so much room for tents and things like that as well and um, so at least a nine to seven wall raid inside or even even eight on this side you could probably do more i, I could have built another one here and um, so yeah really solid inside you could do a lot more defense i would focus more on this because most likely people are to come through here uh, rather than the main bit because uh, it's easier to raid there's less angles and um, but now we're going to move on to the roof for the final part of this huge mega base guys just have a look how the progress we're going around we will build the roof now and i will get back to you soon on what i've done and show you some more raid defense tips Okay guys, as you guys can see, we have finished our rooftop. Now look at this absolute behemoth. This is the main part of the base, the, ba the part of the base you will be in most of the time. A um, couple of things to go through here. Um, so first of all, obviously our defenses. How are you going to defend this? Because obviously it's a ladder. So we have two ladder traps. Things. Both are identical. Um, I'm going to show off this one here. As you guys can see, this is doubled up. Um, so I'm just going to show off what would happen if a player was to come all the way around here. As you guys can see, the player would go in, and then now they are completely stuck in here. Obviously, there'd be locks on these, and then that's it. Seven cuts, they can't get out. Obviously, they could try and drop nades, but we do, but we do have another gate to get through if they did break this um, as another defense. Um, so just to show off that I'm going to heal my character up and I'll show you guys inside here okay so a couple things we want to point out when building this base it's important to keep pliers inside or nearby the gates because when you log off you are going to or if you're going to let anyone inside the base you have to remove these barbed wires or just unlock all these gates let them up and then close them down so it's very handy to keep pliers near your entrances and exits to this rooftop and now we're going to go over all of the angles also you guys have seen we've got angles downstairs in the main bit we've got angles over that direction at the end of a tundra and um, in the compound we've got angles over here but obviously we need some for the town so we have some interesting designs here uh, so obviously we've got a la our second ladder trap and 
in here we're gonna have cover covers for the town covering of the town so this is a pretty solid standard view uh, you can see most of the town you can see most of the area even all the way to Pistoka as well and um, you can see the stilted brown that I keep talking about that a lot of people go to you can't see the bar from this angle but you're very open here there's a lot of angles where you could get shot at so i've made even more sneakier ones to cover up the town if that doesn't tickle your fancy but this bit is a nice little spot to build at because people might not um think too hard and we've got some extra barbed wire here on that la on the other ladder just to add insult to injury we've got another angle here it's just standard angle i quite like this one because you can use the chimney um to peek uh people coming from northwest you get a lot of people in this tree line here if you are building at a specific building um and that covers uh the uh, lopatino direction as well over that way you get players coming from lopatino uh, up here it's just literally just covering things off this just an extra bit. I, I don't want to have all of the ones at the top. I want to have one, at least one medium level, just to kind of throw off snipers that are far out. So you've got multiple angles. You've got a cheeky angle underneath here. Um, I that was not part of the design. I just did it. Nice, easy walkway in and out here with a little bit of cam on it. I like this cool, simple design. You get up and down. You don't have to vault. Um, and then this is a really nasty angle in here. So we got a cheeky angle, a little tiny one here on. Uh, kind of Lopatino direction you might be able to use, maybe not. Uh, what I'm going to go is going to go on the top floor here. And then the angle for the town I was talking about. Here is a kind of second angle we have on the town. Um, as you guys can see, you can kind of see a fair bit. But the beams are in the way. But that's going to work to your advantage because you don't want... Uh, people to be able to see you. So this is a bit more of a cheeky angle, quite nice, through two sets of watchtowers, through the beams. Um, and obviously on your left, I mean, you got your classic just view. It's always good to have these. They're your bread and butter of your raid defense. You know, you can see a lot. Look all the way up to BMC. Let's head all the way along here. Uh, have another one here that has better views on the BMC. And we're gonna come down here to the next part to show off other angles. So obviously we've got our ladder trap, <clears throat> and what I also do with the ladder traps is I like to have this bit exposed um, so that <clears throat> if a player does die in here and you log on and someone's made an attempt, you can check if there's any loot in there. Um, but always <clears throat> remember to come on at these because obviously you'll have boys in and I probably will build these walls up actually, just realising this is exposed. Um, um, we'll come up here, and there's like your this this peak is designated for VMC, and then North Creek and South Creek, um, and obviously you've got Y Junction. A lot of people use this uh, junction to rotate from VMC Northwest, etc. So it's always good to have angles, and that here is another one from that Y Junction. Um, now I would build these up. Um, I should have done this in editing, but build these build these back ones up because you obviously have the gap with your ladder trap. And uh, another classic view, northwest. You can see the south compounds. Just useful. Once again, your bread and butter of raid defense. These are simply your standard sniping towers, if you will. Standard sniping towers. You can't go wrong. Beautiful, big, fat angle. Nice and open on uh, the stilted there. Now, I was wondering if I have a good angle. I have a nice angle here. Not quite. So, this angle. This angle, you kind of do have views on the... The barn there i would say that your biggest weakness will be this barn because uh the only good angles you can get are down below um, and to get out so obviously you need your barbed wire you got your you got your your pliers for example and you got your three almost four gates this is doubled so that if people need launch for this yeah uh, you can get it and then you simply just a case of uh, going down obviously we've got extra barbed wire there as well um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something new. I've kind of bunched together a bunch of my tips and tricks into one big video, just so you don't have to watch all the individual tips and tricks so far that I've covered. There's more, always going to be more to come with the tips. Um, and I really do hope you guys have learned things. If you're a new big group and you want to build a big Zerg base, these are some useful tips for you. All right, I really do hope you enjoy. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I've got a lot of videos coming up. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads as well, guys. There's been so much happening. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was useful. Hope you learned something new. And yeah, guys, have a good day. See you in a bit. I won't keep you too long. Thank you. It's a famous burrito, coño.
Coño, pero me cago en el diablo. Cuando no una llamada de que se cae, no joda. A mí me preguntan en los videos, ¿eso es pollo empenizado? Yo no sé lo que es, yo lo que sé es que es pollo para el hambre.